Welcome back to Sheffield, where we're looking for a house for a young couple. They want a bigger property in a leafier location. But they still want to be close to the city centre. Sounds tough, but back in the 12th century, there was a law which prevented Sheffield's woodlands from being developed. As a result, the city grew with its green areas intact, and today, despite being Britain's fifth largest city, it's, well, rural. Georgie and Graham didn't like the period features of our first property, even with its leafy surroundings. The next house had fewer features, but was a little too close to home. I can just about see my mother-in-law up the road. <laughs> and the kitchen decor put them off too. So we went back to basics with a modern house in a rural location. Not enough character this time. We switched tack for number four, 200 years old, original features intact with modern trimmings. They liked this one, so bearing that in mind, it's off to our next choice. We found another property in their favourite part of Sheffield, Totley. This Victorian semi has a great view and is well within budget at £134,950. We think it's a good blend of old and new. This is good. We, we, knew, we know that you like this area because we were only just up the road. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. Nice big impressive. kitchen. Yeah. We've got the coloured tiles that you like so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're really yeah. nice. And then behind Phil's head, there's something else stuck to the wall. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to illustrate it for us, Graham? Oh, yeah, go. Like, cool. Is it things like that? Oh, wow! <laughs> oh. This house has the three big bedrooms Georgie and Graham want. The most impressive, an attic conversion. This is currently where the owners sleep because yeah. they've got four kids <laughs> so they've been kind of shoved upstairs this is but it, it makes a lovely study it does. Mm. how and do you nice. how do you feel that you'd use all the bedrooms i think i'd favor sleeping up here actually. yeah i think we'd make this the master yeah. bedroom actually we're four miles from the center of sheffield and we can wake up in the morning and look at that view yeah, yeah. i find absolutely fantastic so it's a very long garden Ooh. this Lots of outside space. Yeah. Wow. And then you've got this, which would be a great sort of covered barbecue area. All right. Yeah. Or a great place to hide my motorbike. <laughs> right. yeah. I thought of that when we came here first, and there's a ramp, there's no steps. Perfect yeah. for a motorbike. Perfect, yeah. Yeah. Something for the future. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Outbuildings offer a great chance to increase value. Converted, these could add £15,000 to the price of the house. I like this garden. I've got so many great it's things got, to go and explore. Yeah, it's got nooks and crannies and work that needs doing to it. Yeah. And you know, you've got real open space behind you. You don't have that sense of someone looking into your yeah. back garden. Yeah. So, major points scored. Major points scored, yes. yes. Very impressed. Very give, us, nice. give us an out of ten. He's gonna, say... probably gone up to about eight on this one. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah, well, I'll have to go higher because it's definitely a nine. Well, the tide's turning. Another one joins the shortlist and we haven't finished yet. Georgie and Graham wanted rural, but just how rural are they prepared to go? Time to stretch their horizons and go right out into the Peak District, 20 miles to be exact. The 17th century village of Lytton lies a few minutes from some of the best climbing country in the world, but will they like the house? What are your thoughts on the location? It's fab. This is so Very cute. nice. Yeah? It's really yeah. lovely. Yeah. Ah. Right, okay. Head up to start with. <laughs> this is the oldest house in our search. Originally two workers' cottages, it's been knocked into one. It's on the market at £154,950 and has a modern interior, including a new kitchen extension. It's 1690, the house, and that is the original fireplace. Um, totally irreplaceable and a really wonderful... I've, I've never seen anything quite like it. It's too big, it'd have to come out. You've got to be joking. <laughs> now, these beams, the house has all been checked out for woodworm. And as you can see, there are no holes. No. Ted, there's something I always like in these old properties, is the, the thickness of the walls. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. That's a two-foot wide wall. You get such a sense of uh, history in this house. Mm -hmm. It's over 300 years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of the issues with these older houses with very thick walls. The windows tend to be small. They're set back because the walls are very thick. Yeah. They, they do have a much darker gloom to them. Come and have a look at the kitchen. <gasps> wow. That's a fantastic 
like units are fantastic. Everything's just amazing. There's just so much space. I'm completely stunned by it. It's, it's fab. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Practically speaking, although it looks very nice, this kitchen, mm. it would be difficult or tiring to use. Sink there, oven there, fridge over here. You'd spend half your time Walking wandering up and down. You know down. what? Phil's ankles would start to swell if he had to. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it the best thing that we've seen? It is by far the best. It's more than we budgeted for. Whether we could afford the extra 5,000, I don't know. We'd have to sit down and think that one out. We then have to take into consideration all the petrol costs of yeah. getting in Sheffield every mm. day and yeah. out again. And We're a long way out of town. Mm. Mm. That's where all your friends are. That's where your life is. That's where your work is. Yeah. yeah. There's no doubt that they love it, but do they love it enough to up sticks and completely change the way they live? They're going to have to sleep on this one. Well, after a rocky start, we've ended up with three properties they like. So today, do they want to revisit any? First, the cottage. It's slightly above our price range, and the location is going to mean it's also adding on travelling costs. Yeah. But, I mean, the house is perfect. But despite that, it's a no. So, have we any second viewings? The first one, I think the one that we agreed on, um, was the House by the Stream. Right. Which we both really, really liked. It had a load of character. And they're keen on the house with the view. It is really within our budget. It's yeah. quite a lot cheaper than the others. Yeah. And it did have some really nice features. It was, again, it had a lot of character and things. Yeah. Great, two revisits. First up, the house with a view. One major issue to be resolved. Is it big enough? It has no separate dining room, but does have a big kitchen. Georgie and Graham particularly like the room in the eaves. The thing with mm. attic bedrooms is you've got to work out where the estate agent's taken their measurement from. Right. The details say this room is 17 foot 10 long. Right. Well, it may be, but it's not a usable 17 foot 10. The attic isn't quite as practical as they first thought. What about the rest of it? It's a very nice house. It's got lovely views, lovely location. But I don't think we're, we're gaining the extra space that we want. Um, okay. I think the size of the house at the moment would drive us both potty. But Graham, the other bedrooms are big and you love that kitchen diner. There's also space and the budget to extend. A good tip for finding out whether or not you get planning permission is to head to the back of the garden. Checking out the neighbouring houses will give you a rough idea of the type of work that has been approved. Now, what do we learn here? Look at this. They've done an extension. They've done an extension. And that outbuilding has been converted. I'd be very optimistic about getting planning permission and adding value. We take a closer look next door. It's quite amazing, isn't it? It's quite impressive. Now, if the planners are prepared to sanction something like that, then I don't think they'd have any problem with you having a one-storey glass atrium yeah. of some kind. An extension adds value, but it does mean living with a building site at the back door for quite some time. To be honest, I'm not convinced enough on the rest of the house to actually warrant all the disruption that it would cause. Now, you were mighty keen on this house earlier. I know. <laughs> What's happened? Um, I guess coming back and viewing it for a second time, I can see that the things that we want, we're not actually finding in this house. Well, let's hope we'll find them in the house by the stream. It's more expensive at £145,000, but it's got that kitchen they love and four bedrooms. What's more, there's no need to decorate, so it's ready to move into. It's essential to make your second visit at a different time of day. In this case, rush hour. It's actually putting me off the house, I must admit. <laughs> Not a good start, but second viewings are all about taking off the rose-tinted glasses. Inside, things are as good as they remember. Yeah, it's very nice indeed. Size is great, yeah. It's a really nice big lounge. And there's a bit of a bonus in the basement. Now, if you come through here, you could do whatever you wanted with this downstairs space. You could have it as a utility room, a den. It's a fab space. It is a good space, isn't it? And even if you don't ever do anything with it, it's incredibly useful to have it as storage space. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, you guys wanted something rural, but you weren't expecting this 30 yards from your doorstep, because I don't think you could get far more 
rural than this. Very nice. Yes, yeah. It pays to explore outside as well as in. The cracks on the exterior back wall needed sorting out. We asked surveyor Martin Evans to take a look. These cracks are structurally slight, which means you could probably repair them essentially cosmetically. Right. Would you say they need repair? Yes, I would, yeah. You're probably talking about maybe £1,500, something like that, to get it done properly. If you were here on behalf of a mortgage company, yeah. would you be recommending the purchase? The problems are surmountable. I'd be quite happy to recommend it. That should be bought, yeah. Okay. And with that in mind, would you buy it yourself? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah I'd buy it. He'd buy it, but will they? The house by the stream is what we originally asked for, you know, something near rural, but also near the city. But it's right next to a busy road, yeah. and we're just trying to decide whether we, we can, can sit out in the noise. garden and cope yeah. with that. Yeah. But I'd like, yeah. well, just to stop for a, a week or two while we contemplate. Phil and I can't stay <laughs> for a couple of weeks while you think about it. Um, but. We're really pleased that we were able to come up with two contenders. Mm. Um, and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But you've got to keep us posted. Oh, we will. Definitely. Georgie and Graham did get back to us and asked us to put in an offer of £140,000 for the house by the stream. But they were pipped at the post by someone who wanted it even more than they did and now they're back on the hunt.